hello guys welcome so let's start this project first of all go to your favorite browser and simply type this url which is github.com slash coding cafe one slash i chat okay this one coding cafe one slash i chat and it will redirect you to this page simply click on code and click on download zip so this file has been downloaded now let's just go to the downloads folder okay we have downloaded this let's cut this from here go to the desktop now and simply paste it here on the desktop right click on this file and click on extract here since you know this is a zip file so we get this folder which is our project file okay i chat dash master let's delete this one so now let's rename our project folder okay let's rename it to i chat remember the name of the project must be in small english alphabet and do not give any space instead of space you can write underscore okay just like this so i will give it name as i chat underscore app 2022 okay just like this okay this is just to tell you guys first you will be the small english alphabets no space okay and after the alphabets you can give also a numeric value okay just like i give and further you can also give underscore okay if you want i chat app 2022 so now open up the android studio and i will simply click here on open and then on the desktop i have this i chat app underscore 2022 select this and press ok it will open up in the android studio now the easy way is simply to drag and drop this project folder here okay in order to open up in the android studio okay i just want to mention this both way because some of you know, some of the students are beginners uh, in flutter that's why i explain it in details so anyways now when you open up the project for the first time uh, here you will see this project okay make sure that this project is selected let's say in case if any other option is selected make sure that you select this one which is project i chat underscore app okay 2022 which is our project expand this inside the lib we have mentor dot now first of all uh, you have to simply click on file then click settings and inside the settings we have languages and frameworks click on dot make sure that in your case you have to check this one okay which is enable dot support check this enable dot support and dot sdk path in your case if it is not selected make sure to select it for example in my case it is inside the c drive inside the c drive i have my flutter sdk okay flutter and then inside the flutter sdk i have bin and inside the bin i have cache inside the cache i have dot dash sdk select this dot dash sdk press ok and then click on apply and then click ok if you see here enable dot support uh, option okay as a hint then make sure to click on it okay so simple and so easy now what we need to do just click on tools and then click on flutter and then run this command which is flutter clean okay exit code 0 means successful you can also run this command manually from the terminal just by writing simply flutter clean just like this also let's run the other command just simply click on this tools flutter and flutter pub get now this command is going to uh, add all the dependencies in our project all the missing or you can say the required dependencies in our project and now you will see after uh, successful running this command flutter pub get these error will be gone from here so let's wait for it it will took some time so exit code zero which simply means it has been run successfully the error has been gone from our project now also you can run this command manually from the terminal and you can simply run it by writing flutter pub get okay so this is another way i mean to run this command manually from the terminal so anyways we are ready first of all uh, in this iChat app 2022 we have our assets folder i mean our images folder which contain all the images which we will need in our this project okay and then we have the if we go to the pubspec.html and we have add the latest uh, 
dependencies okay for all the libraries or all the packages or you can say all the dependencies that we will require in order to develop our this real-time chat application with real-time push notifications okay so these are the latest new dependencies which is already available in our this project okay i mean in the prospect.html file we have already added that and we have also include our images to the assets okay as you can see here and then we have our we have add all the required things in order to start up over this chat application for example if you come here to the main dot dot and we have did we did uh, nothing but just write a simple code which is on the home we are just displaying the scaffold widget okay and we have just defined some basic variable and some basic uh, some basic variables or you can say some basic instances for example for the shared preferences uh, firebase initialize app okay firebase file store so anyways one thing is we have also this all constants uh, which is just the constants which we will require or you can say vari uh, some variable we have already also okay these are some constants which we will need for our app then we have colors some default colors okay which we will use for our app okay the constants and fire store constants as you can see here so this is not something really uh, you can say this is very simple i mean okay we have just a basic code similarly we have the all widgets okay the loading widget which is to display the circular progress indicator okay and yeah this is so simple and so easy and we have read all these things in advance because uh, most of our time will be saved for i mean working on the great features like push notification real-time push notifications the dark theme and white theme and so on over chat application that is sending stickers sending emojis sending images in chat okay so that's why i mean this is a basic code and i do not want to waste time on very basic things okay i want to save your time and my time so that we can focus on the main things so i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now